and happy Stemtember friends! This is Yana Smakula, and today I'm super excited to show you one of the new Stemtember exclusive collaboration stamp sets called Time to Unwind by MFT Stamps. Here's a quick look at this exclusive stamp set. This is a 4x6 high quality clear set. Now this is a limited edition set and that means once it sells out, it will be gone for good. This stamp set will not be restocked. So if you like it, go ahead and grab it now. I love the cute images in this set. That little raccoon holding a s'more is simply adorable. And I wanted to use these to create a little scene for my card. I also love the sentiments included in this set, particularly the one that reads, we go together like s'mores in campfire. So cute. I pulled out a few supplies from my stash to set a scene for my raccoon. Here I have a portion of the sea and sky cling background stamp from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm using just the sky part to create the sky for my card. Now I recently shared another video tutorial showing how to use this sea and sky stamp and how to stamp all three of its portions to create a card. So you can check that video out for more ideas. Today, I thought that the top sky part would work perfectly well to create a sky for my card. So I'm not using the rest of the stamp, just the sky. I used my Misty stamping tool and stamped this onto Simon's 120 pound cardstock using my Simon's new positively saturated ink in sea foam. And this ink stamps like butter and it is a treat to work with. And the color, well, the color is amazing, of course. So this gave me a gorgeous sky for my card. Next, to create the bottom part of the scene, I used Hills dies from Spellbinders. Now these are called Color Block Scenic Scape dies, and I die cut three hills out of various shade of green cardstock from my stash to create the hills for the raccoon to sit on. Now there are various ways how you can arrange these hills to create differently placed hills for your card, so I played a bit until I was happy with the placement. Now next, instead of having the scene cover the entire front of my card, I decided to contain it within a circle. So I found a pretty large circle die in my stash, this one is almost 4 inches wide, and I placed it over my scene and I taped it in place with low tack tape. So I'll cut off everything else and I will only use the circle scene for my card. Now you can also do a different shape. You can use a square or you can use a diamond shape. That would also look fantastic. So with the background pre-planned, I moved on to stamping the main images for my card. The raccoon, the campfire, and the bird. I stamped those in Memento Tuxedo Black ink, again onto Simon's 120 pound cardstock. I love this paper. And again, I used my mini Misty stamping tool. I pulled out my Copic markers and I did some super quick coloring. I used W1, W3, and W5 to color the raccoon. I typically struggle with coloring critters. I find it quite difficult actually, so I always like to go on Pinterest and I look up image ideas there. So I just search for raccoon illustration and that gives me some great examples of how to color my critter. Here I went from light, W1, to medium, W3, to dark, W5, and then I went back to blend these colors together. So I went back to w W3 and W1 and so on. Now the raccoon was sitting on something that looked like a rock to me, but I didn't want to use the same gray markers to color that rock, because that would have looked the same, having the raccoon and the rock be the same color. So I used browns and I colored it to look like a big piece of wood. I used E37, E33, and E31 markers. I also used the same colors to color the logs in the campfire. As for the fire itself, I started with a YR18 as my darkest. Next used Y19, added a little bit of Y08, and blended it all out using the lightest Y11 marker. I also used the same Y11 marker to color the marshmallow, so it ended up looking a little bit pale yellow. And then I used the E33 to color the stick. At this point, I realized that I'd forgotten to color his arms and feet, and so I colored those using my W5, so the darkest gray marker. I also added a little bit of blush to his cheeks using the R20. I colored his nose, again using the W5 
5 marker and colored the inside of his ears using the same R20 marker. Now the bird was colored yellow and blue using the same yellows I used for the campfire, skipping the YR18. And for the blue markers, I used B000 and B00. Next, I fussy cut those images using scissors. I wanted to pop these up on my card, so I had to cut them out. The trick to fussy cutting is to hold your scissors steady in one hand and instead turn the paper. This makes it a lot easier to have a neat and clean cut. And of course, you can use the coordinating dies to cut these out. I also stamped several pine trees to complete my scene. I wanted to place a pine tree on either side of the campfire to make it look like it was a forest. I used YG67, YG17, and YG03 markers. Now I color the pine trees taking the light from the campfire into consideration as my light source. So I made the trees darker on one side and lighter on the other side. So this tree will be placed on the left from the campfire, so the left side is darker and the right side is lighter because the campfire is illuminating it. The other tree will have the right side colored dark and the left side colored light as it will be placed on the right hand side from the campfire. I also used E37 marker to color the tree trunk. I didn't use any other colors here as the tree trunk is super skinny and you don't have any room for blending there. I fussy cut the trees and then I went ahead and I die cut the background scene using that circle die. I fell mounted the third hill to pop it up on the card and from there I started to build my scene. So I added the raccoon and the campfire. I placed the pine trees on both sides to frame the scene. I used foam adhesive squares to pop all of these elements up as that's how I prefer my cards. I love to add dimension to them and sometimes perhaps even too much dimension. To add a sentiment to this card, I stamped one onto white cardstock panel. I stamped it at the very bottom and used Versafine Onyx Black ink. And the sentiment, of course, reads, we go together like s'mores and campfire. I film mounted my circle scene on top and I added this panel to A2 white top folding card base. I also added a lot of white pen details to add some highlights to the images both to my colored and to my die-cut images, and I used Sakura Jelly Roll Pen in size 08. And then I embellished the card with the green gems from Spellbinders. They come in various sizes, and I used all four different sizes for this card. So here's a look at this project created with a Stamp Temper exclusive Time to Unwind stamp set from MFT Stamps. I hope you feel inspired to create. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so. Thanks so much for joining me today and happy Stemtember!